We must thank Cranky for two things. Yes, you heard me right, you didn't read the headline wrong. We must thank Nicola Sturgeon for two things, and two things only. First of all, she's as good as written her own P45, which is a massive boost for everybody. But secondly, and probably most importantly, she, in trying to go against the wishes of the people of Scotland, has actually exposed the woke trans ideology for what it really is. She alone, by not even be, being able to determine what a man or a woman is, has managed to deliver the biggest hammer blow to the trans movement you could ever imagine. Now, I refer again, I'm not necessarily talking about trans people. I believe they want to live normal lives, as I've said before. I'm referring to your lefty middle class elites that are always protesting for this kind of thing. A few days ago, a trans woman was a woman apparently, no questions asked, full stop, end of. Now, that trans woman can automatically become a man again if they've committed some sort of violent offence, which seems to go against the whole ideology in my opinion, because surely if you call yourself a woman in their eyes, then you are now a woman regardless of your genitalia, regardless of how you look, and regardless of how you dress. In her own words the other day about people who were against this gender bill, she has now become the transphobe, the misogynist, the racist, the bigot, and all the other stuff, all the other tropes she used against common sense people. She is toast.